All right, welcome back, everybody. Back here on the Sky Factory. As you can see, just in the short break there, the um, the mob spawner is filling up pretty quick. I believe I saw an Enderman walking around, which is good. Yep, I, look, I see the particles. Let's get these creepers out of here before they explode on us. We don't need any of that. See, as long as they're like up against the side that you're on like that, they can't actually see you, which is good. Oh, but if they get pushed back, they will see you and start to sizzle. And we don't need that action up in here. Sword. That's good. We can start adding some modifiers to it once we get the materials. Make it a little bit stronger. Take these guys out quicker. Of course, by then we'll probably have this pretty well automated. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. <laughs> They can actually spawn, uh, like teleport out of here. Oh, there's two of them. Cool. Maybe I'll get a pearl. Oh yeah, I got a pearl. Nice. And we got a, a zombie hit. Cool. That's gonna come in handy later when we get into Ender IO to make a farming station. I guess I'm going to need to make some more chests. Go ahead and do that now. Get some wood. So while we're doing that, we can go ahead and smash these leaves down. Get those going. Just kind of make dirt as we go. Well, we need to chop trees down just to... Uh, Start building up our dirt supply. Oh, I'm dying. Dying, dying. Because, yeah, we're going to start thinking about a farm. And also, um, one of our achievements is, is going to be, as we saw before, to um, make a passive, kind of a passive mob spawn area. Really don't need them for too much. It does come in handy. Just crook those down. Go ahead and run these through. Yeah, I was watching back the last episode when I was doing dirt. I noticed I missed a couple, didn't fill them up completely full. That's all right. Not a huge problem. Jump those down. I'm still gonna need some chests. Let's just go ahead and make two chests. And I guess we'll just stack them up right here. Eventually, we'll get into some better storage options, especially for the uh, the cobblestone generator over there. Put a storage drawer. Yeah, one of these guys. You can upgrade these and get up to like two thousand stacks or something in just a regular mm -hmm. one of those. Put something like that over there. Just get some of this stuff we don't need out of here. Gonna do something with that pretty soon. I need to get some blaze powder. Gonna make a ender eye. Eye of ender. How do I get blaze? I think it's dust. Um, there we go. Yeah, 
dust through iron gives you blaze or diamond it's a little down the road still um, got some dirt dirt in here worms <laughs> I got worms wheat and paper yeah. we can take those make us a piece of bread super nutritious put that back in there papers papers good for books and stuff makes them start it we can enchant the uh, the sieve meshes with books enchanting books and get better drop rates or there's a couple different ones Let's sieve yeah efficiency which I think just gives you more items or not okay the efficiency takes less like clicks to get through which doesn't really matter for me with the with the key binding I have fortune gives you obviously gives you more items and then this gives you I think it gives you fish and like you, I don't know if you guys can hear that I actually hit my volume on my headset uh, yeah, it gives you fish apparently I've never actually done it I really haven't found the need to have fish in this mod so far a couple of times I've played it but apparently that's a thing so okay what are we gonna do next I guess we can um, check our book for some ideas made a mob farm we could we could think about expanding to a different level. That's kind of a, <laughs> a neat adventure. Obsidian. I can make a. St oh yeah, that's a, that's something I could do. I'm gonna build a little bit of a cobble platform and start using lava to heat our crucible and raise our lava production significantly. Keep that out. I'll put that in there. That. I don't need those. Okay. It's the same recipe, just with cobblestone to make these barrels. Oh, uh, you know what? It's it's actually smooth stone. No problem. Just throw a bunch of that in there. Get that cooking. those anymore Charcoal. okay so I guess we can while we're waiting we can just go ahead and make a little platform okay, go ahead and break some of this out Good. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get a few of these things set up so that we're, you know, these things only make. Like I said, they only hold like four buckets a piece. So we'll make a couple of them. Once we get lava, <coughs> kind of a, a bigger supply, we can start making some obsidian which is just a you know, obviously lava and water make obsidian and the cool thing about these crucibles is you don't have to actually mine the obsidian so we don't have to worry about that it just kind of pops out of the crucible in a whole piece so that's that's good that's good times then we can actually make our tool we can upgrade our pickaxe with the obsidian and be able to mine to a diamond level which isn't it's not really a super important thing in this pack but we'll do it anyway just because all right so then we we'll just make a little just come out this far or so It 
it's actually probably going to start <laughs> burning our platform down a little bit, but that's fine. You know what? I need to make a bucket. How much iron do I have? Not enough. Oh well. I'll just use the old clay bucket. I'll splash that in there. Goodbye bucket. Fortunately, when I break this, all the lava that's in there is going to go away, but we'll be making it much quicker now, so it's not, not a huge deal. Pop that there. Pick that one back up. So now if you see, uh, the rate, we're basically three times quicker now with the lava. It doesn't, I don't think it matters if it's, um, if it's flowing or source blocks, I think it's still the same heat amount or rate as they call it. Just put this back on. Okay, throw some more of that in there. So yeah, you can see it's ticking three times faster. Um we shouldn't have to get back there. I'm not going to worry about putting fences. We shouldn't be playing around back there too much for a while until we start worrying about expanding out farther. Let's go back and clear the mob farm out some more. See if we can get some more cool, cool goodies. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Do not do that. Yeah, I probably could have um, made this little, just a little wider around the edges to give me some more space to get out of the creepers' aggro area. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Leveled the sword up again. So I'm wondering if I didn't. Yeah, I did. I changed the configuration on this. I believe at some point in the past changed the, the amount of experience it takes to level level up the Tinker's tools. Basically the way that works is Tinker's allows you to add modifiers to the weapons and of course they have XP as we just saw. Every time you get a level you, you get a, a modifier space. By default, the, anything you make comes with three, unless you use paper, which will allow you to... Part of the paper's perk is it's really weak and has no basically no durability, but it's, it's it gives you another modifier. Or several, depending on the if the tool can take several pieces. But yeah, apparently I changed that at some point in the past in the configurations. Not a huge deal. It's going to allow us to make unbreakable stuff a little quicker. Nothing too super cheaty. Yeah, I guess it's time to uh, think about upgrading that chest. Let's look at storage drawers here and see what I need to make upgrades. That's just sticks and wood. Obsidian. Yeah, so we need to start thinking about obsidian soon. Actually, we were already thinking about that, weren't we? Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you guys thought of that. So I'm just going to make one for now. Can use these slabs. Um. Hmm. Oh, I want to put this. I want it kind of close to the lava, so I'm not having to run too far to make the obsidian. Could put it right there. And I could do. Something like this. Get some of these slabs back. Ooh. 
that's cool. Ah, I need another bucket. I broke my bucket. <laughs> I should still be able to get to that hopper from here, right? Yeah, that's alright. That'd work. I need to make a bucket. Bucket, bucket, bucket. I've got one piece of iron and a couple pieces of ore. So let's go ahead. Smash some of this stuff up. Yeah, see this? This thing makes life super easy. I'm not touching this, am I? Okay, good. To make some more hammers. Let's see, three, three of those. Let's do two more of these. Just gonna do a whole bunch of this stuff right now. Sift it up. Hopefully get ourselves a pretty decent amount of um, iron. Nice. It's not gonna run into anything, okay. Let's go ahead and make this kind of big. Go a couple blocks up. Wand. Harry Potter this stuff up. And boom. Another hammer. Shazam. Let's eat this bread. <laughs> about half of what I had there. And we just rinse, lather, repeat until this is all smashed down. get all this turned into gravel, I'm going to compress it and just run it through with a heavy sieve. Oh, come on, i got to be getting close. <laughs> I still got basically two stacks. Okay, you get another wand. Probably gonna need another hammer too. Alright. I guess we're gonna get it all in one shot here. Almost done. Two, three, four, five. This. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All done. And of course, I need another hammer. Out. 
that doesn't go there. And there we go. Okay, and we're back. It wasn't too hateful, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the little fast forward action on that. So now Oh yeah, we've got a little bit of iron now. I already took that out of here. Let's go ahead and craft this stuff up, get it smelting. Oh and we got five diamonds. Ooh, what are we gonna do with those? I can think of all kinds of cool stuff to do with that. As soon as I get a couple pieces of iron, I'll make a bucket. Throw this stuff in here. I have to think about what I want to do with this iron. I mean this diamond for a minute. I might actually go ahead and smelt some gold up too. So I can make spikes. So we got all these different kinds of spikes. The wood spikes are okay. They reduce, as you can see, they reduce the mobs as they hit the spikes. They will, uh, it won't kill them, but it'll knock them down to half a heart. So you can just kind of walk over and smack them up a little bit. The stone is the same as these, except for it does kill them. But they don't drop anything with the stone spikes. The iron spikes, I believe, they'll drop regular drop items. The gold ones, you see, they drop experience. And then <clears throat> the diamond will drop experience, regular items, and player kill items. So if it, would, it, it acts as if you actually killed them yourself instead of they just died some other way. The drops change for player kills. There's certain kind of rare drops. So now that we've got a bucket, we can move this water, some of it. Let's try to find a spot to make a little infinite water pool here. I usually do it in a corner, but it looks like I can do it here. Something like that. Grab a water, put it in that corner. Grab another water, put it in this corner. Boom, infinite water. You can see how it's nice and still now, it's not flowing anywhere. If you've got a two by two space of water that's still like this, you pick up a bucket, it fills itself back up. It's infinite water. Uh, you got to be careful if you're going real fast. If you've got a couple buckets and you pick up two spaces, it'll, it'll kill your infinite source. So if you're, I mean, obviously I've got plenty of water if that were to happen. Just something to be careful of if you've got a limited supply. So then we just uh, throw a little bit of water in there. The slabs will keep it from flowing anywhere. Grab a bucket of lava, throw it in there. Now it's you can see it's instantly turned into obsidian. You can see it down in there. And you just pluck it out. There it is. Sweet. So now we've got obsidian. And we can make that as long as we've got some lava. We can just make that as we as we need to. Sorry, a little bit of burp action there. Um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eventually make make you know fill this spot up. I might make five or six, maybe a few more, and I can automate this. It takes quite a few uh, crucibles to keep up with how fast the obsidian is gonna drain it if we do automate it. So yeah, now we can make obsidian. We've got faster lava production. We've got our infinite water, and we can start collecting mob drops too. So we're we're making pretty good progress. Like I said, once you once you get that cobblestone generator, the whole the whole pack starts to kind of open up. The worst part about that is then you get into a situation where kind of like what do I do next there's so many so many things to do so many things that you're able to do now so yeah anyway I think we'll stop the uh, episode here the island's starting to take shape a little bit starting to fill up with goodies machines and operations and stuff it's all lit up like the sun's starting to come up a little bit here. Anyway, hope everybody's having a great day, and we'll catch you next time. See you later.